Brotherhood is real. We're tight as we've been all year, man. We're ready to roll. The Falcons entered Super Bowl 51 yeah! as the number one scoring offense in the NFL. It was quarterbacked by the league's MVP. Attack time, it's attack time. And led by a second year coach who's rebuilding a tough, young defense. My goodness, it's officially an 82 yard pick six. Here's Coleman at the five. He'll beat Nikovic to the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Touchdown. Yes. And New England wins 34 to 28. Despite the heartbreaking overtime loss, the strength of the Falcons' brotherhood never wavered. They gave its fans one of the most magical seasons in the history of Atlanta. Quintoris Lopez Jones. Freeman who hammers through a hole. Holy smokes. It's the big kahuna. Ryan hands to Coleman. He'll streak through 20, 15. Lowry won't catch it. Say something about a shootout. Well, partner, saddle, saddle up. <laughs> Woo! I got you, Have fun out there. I got you. Coupled with the leadership of Arthur Blank and the Falcons organization, the passion of its fiercely loyal fans, and a shining new home that they'll all share together, the future of the team's brotherhood has never looked brighter. Let's have some fun today, fellas. Play for the guy next to you. Brotherhood, it's strong. Play for yourself, too. Pride, play for everybody you love. And hey, let's go bring it up! Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up! And hey, let's go, one thing to do! Win on three! One, two, three! In the opening weeks of 2016, the Falcons showed why they were the NFL's number one scoring offense. Racking up yards and points with efficiency and balance. Here they come, Ryan throws. Swing it! One, two, boom! Ah! Ryan under center, straight drop. Looks left, pumps, throws. Jones at the five, and he'll score. Defenses soon learned that they had more to worry about than all pro receiver Julio Jones. Matt Ryan's second touchdown pass of the day to Jacob Tammy. to the West Coast and win here in week two. Against the Saints, the Falcons running duo of Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman took over the offense. Freeman who hammers through a hole. Midfield Freeman cuts back, wants to cross, cuts it back 35 and down. Led by Alex Mack and the rejuvenated offensive line, Freeman set a season high mark of 152 yards averaging over 10 yards per carry. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Coleman also set a personal scoring best against the Saints. Give it to Coleman. Touchdown, Atlanta. Tevin Coleman's got his second rushing score of the ball game. Hand it to Coleman. He will sprint to the far side. They won't touch him. And it's a Falcon touchdown, the third of the night for Tevin Coleman. But the longest gain of the night came courtesy of Atlanta's defense. It is intercepted. Deion Jones off the deflection. 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. The homecoming for Deion Jones. Atlanta leads the NFC South.
Back home in the dome, week four belonged to the NFL's most dangerous duo. Julio Jones gave one of the greatest performances of his career. His 300 yards receiving set a franchise record, and he became only the sixth wideout to post that mark in NFL history. Play fake, first down, Rip Jones, middle of the field. Julio, 40, 45, 50. 12 catches, three bills large for Quintoris Lopez Jones. Matt Ryan also broke a team record with 503 yards passing to become only the 15th quarterback to break 500 in the last 50 years. Oh no, Austin Hooper with nobody at the five, touchdown Atlanta. He also threw four touchdowns to four different receivers in Atlanta's multi-dimensional offense. And our team identity of toughness, of finishing, and of playing for one another. Guys go down, another guy stands up to go kick ass. It was only a matter of time for the defense to lead the way during Atlanta's championship season. And nobody powered that charge like outside linebacker Vic Beasley. Beasley! Jackson. Beasley had three and a half sacks and two forced fumbles. It set the tone for his league leading 15 and a half sacks for the season. Falcons trying to get there and they will. And Vic Beasley is having his own Sunday afternoon kickoff party. All out ball. Great job. All out ball. With a total of six team sacks, the Falcons overpowered the Broncos at Mile High Stadium. He'll be sacked again, and this time it's Dwight Freeney and Adrian Claiborne. So it's going to be all day fight, 15 rounds, to get their mice bags ready. We was ready, yep. right? That's all right there. That's your mindset. Tough and resilient brotherhood. Another team win. Following the team's only back-to-back -back losses, the four and three Falcons brotherhood was at a crossroads. Waiting for them there were Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Shoot an end zone touchdown. And that's Nelson. Back gonna gun it deep. Looking for Gabriel. Little guy caught it. Did he hang on? Absolutely. Touchdown Atlanta. Yes, good job. You say something about a shootout? Well, partner, saddle, saddle up. We <laughs> in a fight, Dion. You got to love it. Rodgers looking to throw, and he'll be sacked by Adrian Claiborne. Pressure from Atlanta's defense gave Matt Ryan the breathing room to keep pace with the gunslinging Rodgers. Here's Freeman, got one block, got two blocks, got a touchdown. Yeah! These two guys are high-flying, slinging it all over the yard. They put both defenses on alert. Under a minute to go, 32-26 Green Bay. End zone, caught, Sanu, touchdown Atlanta. Look who the last man standing at the shootout was today. Just made up a new word, brothership. Howdy, howdy. Oh, we go. Howdy, howdy. Brothership on three, one, two, three. Brothership. Using nearly every weapon in their offensive toolkit, the Falcons avenged a week one loss to Tampa Bay. Gonna jump it for Jones, makes the catch, held on, touchdown Atlanta. Targeting seven different receivers, the 2016 NFL MVP scored a near perfect QB rating while throwing four touchdowns and 344 yards. Ryan, play fake, looks, DeMarco, touchdown, left side, Atlanta. Caught, Toilolo, touchdown, Atlanta. Oh, my goodness. 
With the victory, the Falcons took firm control of the NFC South. It's going to be fun today. You know, just stay tuned. It's going to be a good little matchup. By week 12, Atlantis fans knew that this would be a special season. Freeman to carry, bounces off one. He'll cut here to the near side and score standing. That's how you slash, bro. Keep slashing. Keep slashing. Faced with one of the NFL's toughest schedules, the team showed those fans just how far they'd come. And to prove just how deep the lineup had become, Taylor Gabriel, a newly acquired free agent, stepped up as the star of the game. He'll dump it here to Gabriel. Oh, turn up, turn up, turn up. He'll make a move 30, 25. Taylor Gabriel, touchdown! In Los Angeles, the Falcons solidified their place as the highest scoring team in the NFL. Ryan looks to throw, looking for Hardy, and it's caught! Drive play fake to Coleman, now they're going to take the deep shot. Gabriel is wide open. Step gingerly into the end zone. Got three steps, looks for the right, and it's intercepted. Deion Jones keeps his feet 20. 15, 10, 5, touchdown for Debo. The team forced a season high five turnovers against the Rams. And a fifth defensive touchdown tied them at the top of the NFL for the year. Through week 14, Dan Quinn's brotherhood had outscored everyone else in the league by 70 points. Let's go, man. Hey, rock it, baby. Come on, man. Hey, we're going to get to that bowl. Yes. That bowl. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, we got it. With Austin Hooper's touchdown, the Falcons broke the team record for points in a season. But against the Niners, the majority of the offense was carried on the shoulders of Devontae Freeman. Here's Freeman, first to go, touchdown Atlanta. <laughs> Scores, touchdown Atlanta. That's the best nine yard run you'll see all year. Freeman ran for 139 yards and his 28 career touchdowns are the most by any Falcon in his first three years. Ready, we go! <laughs> Touchdown, Atlanta! You never know what you get when you come to the Georgia Dome on a Sunday afternoon in uh, week 15. Love you, Freeman! Love you, baby! Ryan on a play fake again. Gonna throw it for Perkins! A catch and score! against Carolina. The Falcons peaked at just the right time. Matt looks, throws back across, Sanu, a running catch, 25. The offense had been great all year, but it was their defense that made them look like a different team as the playoffs approached. Firing same route, intercepted Brian Poole. They held the reigning MVP and the NFC champions to a mere 105 yards in the first half alone. Intercepted Jalen Collins down the far sideline. And Tevin Coleman put the exclamation point on the playoff clinching victory. Fires the gap, 40, 35, inside the 30, keeps his feet, 10, 5, and he'll go dancing into the south end zone. Atlanta entered the final week as the best scoring offense in football. Four quarters later, they proved why it was one of the greatest of all time. Puts it out in the flat, Coleman the catch, he will walk into the end zone, touchdown Atlanta. In 2016, they finished first in points per game 
and yards per carry. Devontae cuts it back. Uh-oh, 40, 45, 50. One guy to beat, 30, 25, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Atlanta. 75 yards, Devontae Freeman. Far right, F short, three scat, X hole spacing can, three jet chief on one, ready. Matt Ryan's four touchdown performance underscored why he was the overwhelming choice as league MVP. For the season, he set career bests for completion percentage, touchdowns, and a quarterback rating of 117. With the victory, the Falcons earned the right to close out the Georgia Dome in dramatic style. Can you say two seats? That will lock up that. Well, we're live for the NFL Divisional Playoff Round, and today the Falcons and Seahawks meet for a 17th time. There's a different energy in the city. Yeah, there is, and I, and I like that. We all like that energy. And away we go from Atlanta. Julio on the quick throw. Touchdown, Atlanta. Oh, and 2 5, and the Blue Hat's not happy. Hey, Sherman was so tight, he stopped. He stopped on the swing. 9 40 to play first half. Seattle 10, Atlanta 7. Wilson fell down. Is it a safety? Is it a safety? It is. Leading by only two points, the Falcons faced their longest drive of the season. Looks, rips it. Jones slides down 24, back to his feet 20. Again, the defense sealed the victory. And it's picked up. Deion Jones on the deflection. Holy smokes. Atlanta goes on to the NFC title game next Sunday. I appreciate you coming with us. It's okay. Well, people beat the teacher today. Yeah, it's the last game in the dome, man. We got to ride out for this one. I don't know that you've ever seen a matchup where you've got two hotter quarterbacks playing in an NFC Championship game. Now, they get to settle it right here on the field. The bond is tight, man. I'm telling you, it's real. Brotherhood is tight. We're ready to go. In the first half, the Falcons' brotherhood surged to a 24 to nothing lead. Atlanta's converted two third downs already on the drive. Third and goal of the two. That looks. Good time. Now steps up. He'll shovel caught. Touchdown. Mohamed Sanu. Great catch. Oh, I got you. Every time. I know it. I know it. Ripkowski. He'll break through to the 15 and drive inside the 10. The ball is loose. And Atlanta recovered with Collins. Steps up in the pocket. Matt Pops runs. A rushing touchdown for Matt Ryan. How bad this number two on him. Now Sets going to take the deep shot. Looking for Nelson. Intercepted for Colonel Allen. Another postseason pick. Can't 
say enough about this young defense. I got you. I got you, brother. Ryan throws in zone. Jones! Caught it all the way through. Touchdown, Atlanta. Oh, what a grab. Takes a snap. Play fake to Freeman. Ryan wants to throw. Jones to catch Morty. Go! Go! Into Green Bay territory. A stiff arm at the 15. 10. 5. Touchdown, Atlanta. <laughs> With a dominating performance from all three phases, the Falcons conquered the NFC. Touchdown, Atlanta! And the dome is roaring. And I'd say they closed this house in high style today. Congratulations. You are the MVP for sure for a long time. Appreciate it. Brotherhood brought Dan Quinn's Falcons together. And that brotherhood created one of the most magical seasons that Atlanta has ever seen.